Hey dreamers and welcome to my next video. This is day two of Disneyland Paris. You can probably hear my cat in the background here, bless him, the stitch. Um, we're, I've just finished editing the video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's taken me a little while to do. Again, uh, please be kind because it, this is my first time of doing these videos and I hope I really do hope you are enjoying them if you do like them please remember to give it a thumbs up and please also subscribe um, it just helps me know if you like these videos or not and um, whether I should keep doing these videos for you um, there will be more videos in the uh, coming up in the in the year uh, so hopefully if you like them as I say, please like them and please subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Enjoy my video and this welcome to day two of Disneyland Paris. Here we are in the Hotel Cheyenne breakfast and we are just about to eat and then we're off to the park to this morning. Um, last night was good. It was, I was really, really tired at the end of the day and um, I slept really, really well. It's, uh, it's very busy in here today, it's quite loud, but it's it's a nice breakfast. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit what we're, we're looking at now. So this is the breakfast area. I can't take any pictures of the buffet because there's just too many people there at the moment, so unfortunately I can't show you the buffet. This is the drink station. And there's another overflow breakfast just through here. And uh, so far this morning, I wasn't overly hungry, so I've picked up a uh, croissant, some bacon, a uh, pan of chocolat, and some Mickey cake. They do do Mickey waffles, I'm hoping to show that in a bit. They're just bringing some more out first. Um, more from me in a minute. So this is the Hotel Cheyenne reception. Uh, this is the reception building. Through there is the toilets and the Chuck Wagon Cafe where we've just eaten breakfast. Here is the concierge and at the moment they're doing a meet and greet in Red Garter Saloon with one of the characters from Toy Story. And just up ahead is the shop. But on the whole, it's been a really good stay. We've really enjoyed it. I was gonna show you some video when we first arrived, but unfortunately it was very, very late. We eventually got to our room at, um, I think it was about quarter to 12 and we had to go and get some food. But there's the stagecoach. And I'm just gonna take you for a quick walk around the, the resort part. I will show you the Starbucks. We do have a Starbucks in this hotel and it's really, really nice. This is the Starbucks, just here. We've got a seating area. They're selling all the Starbucks mugs. I will show you them. Don't know if you can see in the window, but there is an Avengers Campus Starbucks mug. There is a Paris one, a Hollywood Studios, another Paris one, another Paris one. I haven't seen any of the 30th anniversary mugs. I will say they are expensive. They are 25 euros 90 per mug. As I say, it has been a good, um, a good stay. We've had a few problems with the housekeeping. Um, we arrived at our room on Sunday evening and our bed hadn't been made, the room wasn't clean, so we had to change rooms from one side of the resort to the other. Um, and we hadn't eaten all day either, so we managed to get to the McDonald's in Disney Village um, with five minutes to spare. So we ended up eating in the cold. Overall, it has been a wonderful stay. Um, as I say, there are there were a few little problems, but I can say the cast members have been fantastic. They really have. They couldn't do enough for us. We were very lucky uh, where they had given us some. Uh, uh, they gave us three fast passes for the inconvenience for the first night, which was nice. They didn't have to do that. I've never had that before. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, this resort is really, really nice. Um, and they did sort out our problem really quickly. When we did arrive back at the room yesterday, the because we changed rooms and they said we couldn't stay there for the whole entire trip. We had to go back to the original room. So from one end of the resort to the other, they did take our bags directly to the, new, the original room, uh, which was good because um, we couldn't get them up the stairs. We were on the second floor. 
uh, but I'm just going to show you a bit more of the resort and I'll talk a bit more about the stay. So here we have the shop, which is the general store, and obviously the coffee house is the Starbucks, this is the back of the reception area. You've got the Red Garter Saloon and the Chuck Wagon Cafe. It's uh, very cold today, it's uh, one degree. <laughs> So cold, uh, but bright. The sun, the sun is trying to come out, but it's really, really nice. There is a laundry facility here too. Um, that's up by our room, but this particular building just dead ahead of us, that's where we stayed the first night. And then if I turn the camera around, so looking back on the reception area, we literally stayed right up the other end, right up there, at the other end of the resort, and that's where we'll be tonight as well, which is our last night. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, as I say, it's a really nice resort. The rooms are cosy. I will say the air conditioning is a little bit loud, so either turn it off if you don't need it, or um, just be aware that it is quite noisy. I will do a full room tour this evening when I get back once the room's all fresh again. We're now just walking into, um, we're going to Disneyland Park this morning. I just wanted to show you the security area. Um, it's a lot, lot better than it used to be. So basically you walk through like an airport security and then they, um, you put your bags through like the rolling x-ray machine. Very quick, very streamlined, fantastic. And as I say, we're just walking to Disneyland Park now and uh, I will bring you along for the ride. We've just got into the park and the parade's just started. Oh, thank you. Thank you.
lovely to see Nick and Judy because I absolutely love them. So uh, yeah, it's a really happy start. It's um, very catchy. It's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. These are some of the statues for the 30th anniversary. So we've got Dumbo. We've got Tigger and Pooh. And the Cheshire Cat. We've just come into the Emporium to have a look round and uh, there's some lots of nice things. I'm just having a look now. I will show you as we walk around. These are um, shoulder pets and this is a Tinkerbell. And this one is 20 euros. They have Groot and Sebastian. They have some stitch merch, stitch jumpers, really nice stitch spirit jersey i would buy this one but it's white and i tend to get white stuff a bit dirty 30th anniversary t-shirt really nice and that's 20 euros which isn't bad is it what's this one a kid's one lots of kids notebooks and pens and pencils and there's a stitch oh that's cute stitch valentine magnet these are five euros there's lots of lovely kids stuff as well which is really nice lots and lots and lots some jewelry look at the jewelry here Oh, some, these, I don't know if it's going to focus, but these are stitch earrings, and these are the yellow, uh, which is 35 euros, a stitch necklace, just here is a stitch, I can focus on this one, stitch necklace, these are some of the lounge flies that they do. There is a Hades lounge fly, which is 85 euros, that one. A Winnie the Pooh one, that's 80 euros. There's a Remy one, and I'm just trying to find the price on that one. Uh, that one is 85. This one here, I didn't notice it until yesterday, but somebody had it on. It lights up um, in these places at night. It's really cute. This one, I believe, I think I looked at this one before. That one's 90 euros. The one my mum has, which is this one here. This one is, I'm just trying to find the price. 85 euros, this one. And there's a Christmas one still here. And this one is 90 euros. We're now going into the castle. Um, we're on the uh, central hub at the moment. It's a beautiful castle. In my opinion, this is the be most beautiful castle in the world. Uh, I've been to California and I've also been to Florida. And in my opinion, this is the best one. It's just so pretty, so ornate. It's pink, it's beautiful, it's just lovely. We're just walking across to go in. I've just met up with my friend who went in Hakuna Matata for lunch uh, in Adventureland and that was absolutely delicious. I, I didn't film any of that because obviously I was having a catch up with my, my ex-work colleague. Um, but no, that was really, really nice as well. But uh, this is such a gorgeous castle, look at it. This is inside. We're just going in now. Here we go. Just over the bridge. And in we are. And just up on the gallery you've got the um, Tale of Snow, uh, Sleeping Beauty. And uh, all in the mos uh, mosaic windows. It's just absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful castle. So a little Christmas shop in there and on the other side you've got some stairs going up to the gallery just here and then you've got another boutique just here and this one is an Arebus Brothers 
boutique where they do lots of crystal and things like this. It's just really lovely. You can even hear the dragon in here. There's a dragon in the basement. Oh, I love this necklace. This necklace is beautiful. The Disney D, it's 59 euros. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of lovely things in there. Some Christmas ornaments. These Christmas ornaments are 29 euros. And these ones here, I'm not sure how much these ones are. No price. Oh, the balls are... One ball is 29.99. And then if you just go through here, um, this is the dragon. I'll just show you around. the Christmas shop as we uh, in the castle and I'm just going to go through I found out from my colleague they're keeping all the doors shut in the shops because the electricity is so expensive in France so they're trying to keep uh, conserve energy and conserve the heat um, we've got some lovely decorations in here just absolutely beautiful and the ceiling is gorgeous I don't know if you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and show you the um, gingerbread Mickey Mouse's on the ceiling, which is so cute, so, so cute. But they've got some lovely things in here. Christmas is my favourite time of year, so there's always something I like in this shop. Uh, this wreath is 50 euros, and it's a felt wreath. these gorgeous Mickey Mouses I think that's absolutely gorgeous this one is 30 euros she's so cute and there's little Mickey there his present and again I think he's 30 euros some lovely decorations there's some nice bits behind the till oh mum's just found a light up Lumiere decoration which is really cute that one is 18 euros that one and the light up rose from Beauty and the Beast and that one is 20 euros so if you're into Beauty and the Beast oh they've got a lovely little Cogsworth down here let me just show you that one it's Cogsworth and this one is 15 euros this one so like I say, if you're a fan of Beauty and the Beast, you'll love some of these decorations. We've got some lounge flies in here, the Christmas lounge flies. Some lovely pictures on the wall there. It's just such a nice shop. It's one of my favourite shops in Disney. Some lovely little votives for your candles. And they're, te uh, they're 11 euros. And we've got some ball balls here for the 30th anniversary and they are how much are these 15 euros these baubles and got the 30th anniversary logo on there and I'll just knock all the <laughs> all the ornaments we've got some sweets here sweet tins we've got a stitch one here 
Lovely stitch one. And this one is eight euros. That's not bad for eight euros. Oh, these are really cute as well. How much are these? Oh, these light up and they are 16. Really, really cute. Mickey gingerbread. A train set. I don't know how much this train set is, but this would be gorgeous to go around the tree. Let me just see. It's uh, 150 euros for this train set. Maybe I might put that one back. Got some lovely decoration still. It's just really, really themed towards um, Snow uh, Sleeping Beauty. I want to say Snow White, but it's not. It's Sleeping Beauty. It's just such a lovely shop, beautiful shop. We're now in Fantasyland. I'm just going to show you a back view of the castle. Just there. We've got Auberge de Sondrion, which is where um, that you can have dinner with the uh, You can have dinner with the uh, princesses. And you've got the Cinderella, the little Cinderella uh, fountain, or Fontaine de Cendrillon, which is beautiful. Just here, Carousel de Lancelot, and La Menagerie de Royam, and this is um, also joining Sir Mickey's shop. Uh, I believe this one is closed. I'm not sure if Sir Mickey's is open. But we'll have a look. There's the beanstalk for Mickey. Fantasylands in Disneyland Paris is by far one of the prettiest fantasylands. We're now on Peter Pan. Uh, this was our fast pass attraction that we that we chose. And uh, we're just about to go. We're in a pirate ship. Are you looking forward to this ride, Mum? Yeah. Excellent. And off we go. To Adventureland uh, via Fantasyland and um, we're just about to try and go on Pirates. Well, we just come off Pirates. That was absolutely brilliant, as always. Um, it was a nice surprise to see Jack Sparrow at the end. Gonna have a look around in here. <laughs> Honest opinion of Pirates of the Caribbean. Brilliant. Loved it. Loved it. Saw Jack. Saw Loved my Jack. Jack. Yeah, he's Mum's favourite. <laughs> This is Adventure Isle, and um, it's really gorgeous around here. If we go over that bridge, there's normally a, um, a little statue of Carl and Doug from Up, or Doug and 
Russell possibly, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but uh, we'll go and have a look at that in a sec. So, so far today the weather has been amazing, it's actually really warmed up a bit, um, it's not too cold, and um, it's just, we couldn't have wished for any better to be honest, we've had no rain, well we've had rain but we've not been in the rain, we've always been in somewhere so we've been really lucky. Um, but yeah, it's very tiring. I've actually got a really big blister on my toe, which is killing me. So I'm hobbling along at the moment, but uh, we're, we're having a good time. Are you enjoying yourself, Mum? I am. Yeah? How are your feet? Aching. Yeah? Yes. Aww. But we're still enjoying ourselves, so that's the main thing. Another look at Skull Rock. It's really, really nice when the sun's out. It's beautiful gonna zoom in now because I finally found it I did turn the camera off because it took too long to find but just there is Carl from up it's literally the other side of the tree house there's a tree house and Adventure Isle flag there we've got the ship in the distance just over here and if I turn the camera around Carl is just over there. It's queuing up for Phantom Manor and I've met the lovely Cedric. I did get my picture taken with him as well. Um, just seen the Liberty Bell go off. And there's Big Thunder Mountain. Just over there, you can hear the screams. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And off it goes. <laughs> Here they come. Salutations, je suis Buzz Leclerc et je viens en paix. Salut, je m'appelle Woody. Vous voulez faire partie de ma bande before we leave. As you walk in the door you have a safe, a wardrobe, and if I turn to my left you've got the bathroom with one sink, big mirror, shower, shower gel and a, a very small bath. And if I show you the, this is the the shower curtain. You do have a hairdryer, but it's one of these, um, it's not a very powerful one. 
and they do provide you with tissues and paper cups. Um, in here, we actually have a room with an adjoining door. Um, I've got the TV. I've got a really cool woody lamp. Nice mirror. These are the curtains. Now, um, I will say that the curtains don't actually close together. We've, we were actually in two different rooms and these curtains, but all the curtains don't close completely. So if you're one that needs darkness, just be aware of that. There is a ceiling fan, a really nice freezer across the wall and the woody lamps have woody on them. Now our room had a single bed and a double bed, a chair and a chest of drawers and obviously the TV. So sorry for such a quick room tour, such a quick room tour. I did forget to do it when we arrived. Um, as I say, it's six, it's half past six in the morning. We are actually leaving any minute just to go down to breakfast and then we have to go and get our coach. So uh, we'll see you when we get home. Hi dreamers, me again. Um, sorry for the abrupt ending on that last video. Um, unfortunately, I packed my camera away and the camera battery had actually run out. So I did it on my phone. I forgot to turn the phone the, the right way to actually make the video. Please bear in mind, it was very, very early in the morning. Uh, we didn't have very long until we met the coach again to leave to come home. Um, so I'm really sorry for the abrupt ending on that. We were just absolutely shattered by the end of that holiday. Um, I will be talking a bit more about that in my shopping haul video, which will be coming out next Monday, the 20th of February at four o'clock in the afternoon. So if, uh, if you do like the video, please uh, click like and please subscribe. Um, there will be more content coming up throughout the year, as I've just said. Um, there will be more Disney content as well for you coming up in the summer. So if you do like the video, please like it, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.